What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, this is Jason with Denworks. Um, got a really nice little Model T here, 1926. It's crazy this thing's, you know, around 90 years old. And uh, I hope I look this good at 90. Um, you know, I'm 46 now. and it, uh, Actually, I don't know if I'll look good at 90. Uh, I don't look this good now. And uh, so that's why you don't see me in the video. And I just like to talk a lot. So anyways, we'll walk uh, around it. I just wanted to show you different stuff about it. Um, you know, when I first got this thing, I thought it was pretty original, and uh, and I still think it is. And it might have been repainted at, at one point. It's definitely got lacquer. It's got a lot of checking, um, but there's a lot of things about it that makes me feel like it's a it's original. So, uh, but I'm not going to make any claims uh, to it. And uh, um, we'll look here in the video. We'll do the um, still photos and stuff so you can see it. But uh, you can be the judge for yourself i mean it's just been a lot of years so um it's just a really original survivor type rig it came out of california a number of years ago and been up here in in uh, oregon for i think probably about 10 15 years and uh lady owned it down in california prior to that and uh, so we'll just do a walk around here you know uh we just started doing videos a lot and um you can just kind of get a different feel of it but this thing doesn't have any bondo on it that I've I've seen I've had a magnet all over it and you know this cracking that you see is definitely uh, checking uh, of the paint and you know you can see the metal right underneath of it and uh, but overall um, you know it's just it's just all over it and I kind of like it that way I don't think I'd ever paint this because um, it's hard to find them in this condition you usually see them over restored and uh, you know it looks real good uh, just like this and I like the history about it and and different things but you know here you can see the fenders you know obviously all steel and look in good shape you can see the original headlights have uh, turned pink like you see the the purple and uh, someone uh, went ahead and put uh, blinkers on it as well when it was down in California you can see the original uh, script on the headlights as well 1926 Oregon license plate grill surround looks good you know it's an original piece you know I definitely don't see any reproduction parts uh, on this and uh, so it's just a real original uh, nice little find and you can look here across the fenders and the splash aprons all look in really good shape you know you can hear that you know no filler and uh, Wish I had a little magnet I, I'd show you. Here you can see the original primer underneath the fender where it's rubbed off. You can see it on the door up here. And uh, it definitely has its paint flaws and, uh, and things just from the age. There's a little, uh, little hole. I don't know if they put a lock on it or, or what uh, back in the day. And you can see right here there's a little uh, dent right there. The wind caught the door and uh, put a little crease in it up there. We'll walk around here. Again, you can see the fenders. And uh, it's really in a remarkable shape. Again, this is just, um, you can hear that. All steel, and uh, but that's just the checking uh, from the, the old paint and the crazing. Look around here, the, around the back, you can see it again, all around the windows. Here you can see bare metal underneath and all the checking back there you can see the tail lights the blinkers back here original tail light back here in the brake light and and all the lights work in it as well look here around the fender you can see a couple little you know scrapes and different things a little tiny ding right there but um the amazing thing about the, this thing is the way it drives too and uh Thing's never been apart, you know. It's not all rattly. Um, it's in great shape. 
the uh love to see this in a in a museum or something like that but you know i want uh, people to use it as well again you can see the checking on the paint there but it'd be fun for you know someone to take it on parades and enjoy it and uh have a good time with it you know you don't see uh four doors in these very often you see a lot of tourings you see a lot of roadsters um but you never you know little doctor's coops and stuff but you rarely ever see uh, a four-door in this model. They didn't make very many of them, and uh, you just don't see them uh, too often. So um, overall, uh, in really good shape. You can see my little Model Model A over there. That's on uh, going to be on eBay as well. And uh, so anyways, we'll uh, take a look at the interior and um, you know turn it on for you so you can hear it run. gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at the in interior um, it's amazing how nice the doors actually shut in this thing you know I was pointing out earlier there was a couple little holes here and here I don't know how they got there I don't know if they put a little strap there for a lock but if you look inside this door there's a little hole cut out there I'm not a hundred percent sure you know why 90 years old so um, not going to complain and uh, it's just amazing it's in this condition go ahead and look in here at the uh, the seats you know the back is in great shape and uh, you can see the headliner really good condition I think that headliners pretty original you'll see some little tiny holes a little cut right there and uh, you can see some little ones in the back there I'll show but it's kind of cool. It's still got a little vase there and uh, little blinds for the windows. Seats look really good overall. Look across the dash here. I'll check that out. The clock works. See the second hand? It's moving. This is one of these wind up Finney and Walker rim wind. Uh, so it actually works and uh, keeps time. You can see the light works as well. You know, overall, uh, pretty impressive. And uh, you can see the original tag. Still a fix there. You see a little tape on that, on this carpet. But um, you look at the floors, you know, the original wood looks in very nice uh, condition and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at some of the other uh, interior so here's the back back door you know look how nice that shuts it's hard to find that even on a new car go ahead and look at the seat again it's in really nice condition you can see a little tear right there in the in the seat at the seat bottom you know if this was uh, probably redone at least just the seats i think the you know it's it's hard to tell but the uh door panels and stuff that material looks really original and up here on the roof looks really good you can look here on the sail panels i mean it looks like original material you know but i'm not really old enough to to know i've been around cars a lot and uh but definitely it looks very original or at least original type material but either way I mean this was done uh, a long time ago and uh, looks in excellent shape you can see here the scuff plates Ford USA and uh, look inside the doors here on the door edges you can see that same uh, paint checking um, on the inside there as you see on the outside and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the other side Here we are on the uh, driver's side here. Again, I want to show you how nice that door shuts. I mean, just excellent. And uh, just going to take a quick peek here. You can see that little little button there. You can see the materials coming off. For sure, I think that's original 
material, material around there. And uh, But you can see here the light works. I already pushed the button over there. And you can see behind the seat. Looks in really good shape. You know, the scuff plate, again, is in a nice condition. You look at the wood. You know, all the way up and down. Looks in great, great condition. You know, structurally, this car is awesome. And uh, you look inside the jam, again, very clean. Someone put uh, blinkers on it, like I mentioned before, but, uh, you know, they are functional. It looks out of place in here, but, you know, it works. You can see here the, the windshield does pop out. It's hard to do with one hand. I loosened that one. I didn't loosen it enough. But you can see it pops open as well. You can see the windows roll down real good. You know, it's pretty amazing. You don't even see that in newer cars. They, they uh, open like that. And uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, I'll start it up here uh, for you. You can see, see how it runs. And um, so we'll take a look. Um, but anyway, as you can see right here, the clock is actually working. Um, I showed that in a, another video before, but um, you can see the time's different. But anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, start it and I'm going to turn it on and uh, it's got a little kickstarter down here on the bottom and uh, we'll just start her up. You know it actually runs uh, really really good. It's very smooth and uh, it drives like a dream. We'll take it out in a little bit and uh, cruise it around and uh, I just wanted to show you here too this, this windshield wiper isn't working and there's not a windshield wiper uh, blade there so I just want to point that out. Um, we'll go ahead and shut this. We'll take it out in a few minutes but let's walk around here and I'll show you underneath the hood. You can see here it's running. gear and 